Thursday morning. I'm leaving for Vancouver tonight. Well, not tonight, like four o'clock, so like afternoon. But we need to make some changes before I head out to Vancouver. So take a good look at this blonde hair. It costed a lot of money to get to this blonde, a lot of maintenance, but I think it's time to switch things up. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left Hey guys, we're in Vancouver I just finished eating and doing a little bit of unpacking And I'll give you guys a little tour of my condo So I'm staying at an Airbnb So this is where you enter This is how you enter and here is the closet. Closet and extra linens and stuff like that. And then we'll table, a little office area. This is the washing and drying machine, but it's broken. So um, this is my little bathroom. It's cute. This is my kitchen. This is the TV. My bed, little stools at the kitchen there. And this is outside. And that uh, would be it. So, um, flight was good, didn't miss a flight this time. And all my food went through, which is good. Um, for my food, um, Lean On Meals prepared all my protein again. So thank you Lean On Meals for doing that for me. I appreciate it so, so much. You guys make every trip that I've done on prep so much easier by cooking all my protein. So I got my fish, my chicken, all cooked, and just in bulk, and I brought my scale. So I'll just uh, measure it out each day. And then I brought two containers and then some Ziplocs, and that's kind of how I'm gonna transport my food. I also got my six pack bag, which I'll be bringing when I work the expo. Um, and then I just brought like, you know, my pre-workout stuff. <sighs> Sorry, I need to think for a second. And then I brought my seasonings, protein powders, my greens, my vitamins, coconut oil, measuring cups, condiments, egg whites. I brought basically everything with me. I just um, packed all my protein and stuff on my carry-on and then everything that would be considered a liquid I checked into my check bag. Um, so I'm getting really good at this whole traveling thing on prep so I mean that's good because then that means when it's time for me to come back here for my show I'll be all good to go, I'll know what I can bring, I'll know what I can't bring and what to check in and whatnot. Right now I, like I said, I finished eating and unpacking and now I'm just gonna relax for a little bit and then Azaria is going to come pick me up and we're going to go see Darren so I'm going to do an in-person check-in with him so that'll be nice just to kind of get my head um, clear on how I'm doing I'm five weeks out as of Saturday so we're getting really close to the show day I'm... I don't know I'm feeling good but I personally feel behind based on last year but I need to stop comparing how I looked last year to this year just because I'm coming in with a little bit more muscle um, you know life is different I have a full-time job versus last year I had nothing and literally was just focusing on prep so obviously that changes things a little bit and you know just every prep is different I mean as much as you'd like to compare and make sure you're you know ahead of where you were last year and stuff like that sometimes it's just it just messes with your head so I've stopped doing that and um, yeah I'm just Darren says I'm on track and says things will come together so I'm just trusting him and just doing the plan um, following the plan to a T doing the cardio the training everything I got to do and sticking to my meal plan 100% um, so as long as I know that I'm doing the work that I got to do that's all that matters. I mean, my body will respond however it responds, and um, as long as I'm bringing the best version of myself, that's all that matters at the end of the day to me. So, uh, yeah, we'll see after my assessment how much more clear my head gets, but I definitely had a few rough days, but like Darren said, use those rough days to kind of add more fuel to the fire, to light a fire under your ass, to just go a little bit harder, go a little more intense. 
um, and you know just don't let up on the gas because uh, it's five weeks out till nationals. Oh, and addressing the new hair. I finally went back black. I dyed it myself. It has a little bit of a blue tinge. I don't know if the camera picks up, but yeah, there. It has a little bit of a blue tinge. I'm happy to be um, with black hair again. I knew I was going to go back black for my show. And honestly, the blonde was just more maintenance than I wanted. I thought with the ombre that it would be like less maintenance, but you still have to tone it and stuff. So I was just over it. So then I, uh, I dyed it. Guys, so checked in with Darren, hung out at his hotel for a bit, and then I had to go to Safeway because I bought all my veggies and I left them at the fridge at home. So I had to stop at Safeway and stock up on that. It is now 9.57, which is also 10.57 my time, and I'm about to go crush some cardio. When a goal is important to you, you'll just make it happen no matter what time it is, or whatever excuse you have, you're gonna make shit happen. If it needs to be done, it needs to be done. So let's take some Immuno Freak, get downstairs, and get our cardio done. And I will go through the wastelands, through the Cardio is all done. Definitely got a good sweat on if it'll focus. Yep. It is 11 p.m. and I'm going to shower, head to bed, and back at it again at 6.30 tomorrow morning. See you guys. Good morning! Uh, first night in Vancouver was good. I got a good sleep. Did cardio this morning. Ate, got my food ready for the day, and I'm about to head out. Uh, I'm about to head out to the office and we're going to um, get all the stuff ready for move-in day because today is the move-in day for the expo so we're just gonna get everything together I'm gonna do a little bit of my work and then um, we'll set up the booths at the expo and then that'll be it for the day and then rest up we'll train and then rest up for the big weekend so I'll be taking you guys along with me for what I remember to do hopefully I'm good so I'll see you guys in a little bit One done, and I also got to watch Azaria for the first time. Azaria and I have been good friends since the beginning, like literally since day one, um, before she did her first show. And um, it was really nice to finally watch her on stage. She also got first call out, so tonight we'll find out on how she placed. So I'm super, super proud of her. Um, I'll put some clips in of uh, the pre judging so you guys can see. So, yeah. Boys are in your red. Boys are in your red. Boys are in Just finished cardio and I had to show you guys how drenched I am. My face I patted off. You can see all the streaks on my makeup. I should have maybe washed it off before I did cardio, but I was just too anxious to get it started. But I'll show you guys my shirt. It's literally drenched. So you can see already in the front, my shoulders and the back. Yeah. That's the dry part. And that's the wet part, just because I'm wearing uh, one of these sweat belts, it helps me sweat a little bit more, so that's why that whole section is like completely dry, but as you can see, just drenched. It feels really, really good, but I'm really hungry, but I just had to show you guys because, damn, I sweated a lot there. <laughs>
over in about 15 minutes and then it's time to take everything down and then go first the workout but it's been such an amazing time being here at the Big Pro Pro. I want to thank you for the opportunity as well as thank you to Sega Sciences Farmer Creek for making my dreams come true and allowing me to do what I love as a job. So uh, yeah, Big Pro Pro has been awesome and I can't wait to explore a little bit Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on. Just finished doing cardio. Um, I was working at the office until about five, and then I figured, oh, because my flight wasn't until 8:30. I figured the best thing to do was to go to the gym quickly, since this gym was about five minutes drive from the office. Kill some time, do some cardio, and then head to the airport. Started my cardio about 10 minutes in. I got a phone call to check my emails and found out that my flight has been canceled tonight. So I won't be going home tonight like initially planned and I'll be heading up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Guys, so I had to book a hotel very last minute. Karen found this one at the Executive Plaza Hotel, um, which is like five minutes from the airport. And they upgraded me to an apartment and I'm here for like 10 hours. So nice. Um, it's like a full kitchen and everything. So anyways, this is the living room. A little desk and then a little living area. And then there's like a full kitchen. Like a full fridge, dishwasher, stove, everything. This is the bathroom. And then this is the bedroom. I literally like booked this within like five minutes of finding out that my flight was canceled and uh, yeah, I get here to check in and they're like, oh, we put you in an apartment. I was like, oh, okay. Not gonna complain with that. Um, this is my view. Looks like there's a bunch of apartments here, but this is my view here. On the 15th floor. And uh, yeah, it's nice and close to the airport. Um, that's all I need, I just need somewhere to sleep. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get myself settled and head to bed pretty soon just cause I have a 4 a.m. wake up call. Let's go home guys. 4.37, about to go downstairs, catch a cab and go to the airport. And hopefully I'll see you guys in Calgary. Guys, we made it home. I'm in my own bed. So I'm gonna wrap up the Vancouver vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to like. Don't forget to like it down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you guys don't miss out on the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.